buddy, it's me, Chris Man 2000 and welcome to Ace Attorney Month, and we are going to start off with a really, really good entry in the series, Ace Attorney Investigations 2, or as it's known by its translation, Prosecutor's Path. Now, as many of you Ace Attorney fans may know, this game did not get an official English translation, but it was translated by fans, and... I am so glad because this is a really, really good game, and I love it so much. Um, the reason I'm playing this one is because for Ace Attorney Month, I wanted to do something that both non-Ace Attorney fans and Ace Attorney fans would be able to watch. Ace Attorney fans may not want to watch a game that they know they've played, but I know less people have played Investigations too. So that's going to be my logic around playing this game, and trust me, this is a very, very good game. So, let's get started. So our first episode, Turnabout Target. Also, if it wasn't obvious by now, this is not going to be a blind let's play, but I'm going to act as if it is, because that makes it more enjoyable for you guys. The cheers of the crowd. Zhang Fa, the country that Shi Long Lang is from from the first investigations. Smuggling ring. That was B. That was Edgeworth. <laughs> uh oh. There's a gun. Uh oh. This this isn't good. Uh, Mr. President, run. Well, okay, someone got shot. Who got shot? What? Confused about the briefcase thing. Edgeworth! Edgeworth can solve anything. I think that I think we've learned that before already though. <laughs> March 25th. Gord Lake. How ironic that it's at Gord Lake because apparently no other lake exists. <laughs> That's fast. Okay. Gumshoe. The assassination attempt. Attempt, so he wasn't assassinated. That makes the things nicer. Hello, Edgeworth. Nice to see you again. Gum shoo, gum shoo, gum. Hi, gum shoo. This man. Who assists me on cases? Yes. He's extremely loyal, for those who don't know. Why- how do you not know? He just locked himself inside his plane? If the crowd didn't leave, at least we know the assassin's somewhere in here, so... That may make things easier. Who you- who's that? Who's waving her hands? Yeah? No? Get away, you stinking reporter. <laughs> Gumshoe being left behind, as always. Okay. So let's see, what are the details? I literally saw that opening. That's all I saw. Okay, Gumshoe. Gord Lake. Okay. I'm aware of that. Di Hun... Di... Jun Huang. I try to sound as least racist as possible, but I don't think that's possible with the, with the country name Zhang Fa, so... Um... Plans to land on Gord, Gord Lake. Is that even legal to land on a lake with your plane? Okay, that's not that big of a deal. <sighs> Ugh. 
But who did it shoot? So I guess the president's still alive then if he got shot? So was I. Come, she's supposed to have a day off. I wasn't aware that was possible. A trial. Okay. Chief Prosecutor. Who's the Chief Prosecutor? The only Chief Prosecutor I ever knew was Gant, and he's in jail right now, so... That's the only thing I can think of, right? I mean, I guess Lana could be... technically Chief Prosecutor, but I mean... Eh... We still don't know, even know what happened a lot, I have to rise from the ashes, to be honest, so... Uh, assassin's still in the park. Yeah, no dug um shoe. Exactly. Find him find this assassin first, then we worry about other stuff. Okay. What do we have to investigate first? Okay. under such tight security, so maybe we should talk to the security. So yes, for those who do not know how Ace Attorney Investigation works, because you either didn't play the first game, or I guess you didn't watch me play the first game, but, um... The way this game works is that you get your organizer, which is basically your evidence, and then you get logic, which are not necessarily evidence, but pieces of information that will eventually help me in the case in some aspect, um, and to Edgeworth will explain it better a little later. And we also get full, not well, not full, but com somewhat 3D investigation areas, which is really cool. I love that in the first investigation games. What do you want? Yeah, what was the security? You gotta know something. Two best men. The rest were stationed near the stage area. Okay. It would help if I knew which one was talking. Okay. Security was flawless. Was flawless how did a gun get out? That seems pretty big obvious thing to me. Investigate something suspicious. Sir Spisherish. I'm Sean Connery. Oh my gosh. Stupid southern talk is just reminding me of, uh, Lotta right now. Not to mention I'm, like, I guess, article writer or whatever. Mr. Prosecutor! Gumshoe, tell her off! Two pieces of information that share a link. <laughs> it's called logic! That's the thing, apparently only Edgeworth knows how to use logic. Which is either really sad or really cool. <laughs> okay, so this is the way we go. So now we have this. So we have shooting of the president under such tight security the president was fired at during the speech. And we can connect that with security during the, spe the speech. Security was flawless. Any suspicious people would have been noticed. So we can connect those pieces of logic together and... Deduce! Like I saw the deuce, but you can you can understand what I mean by that. Someone was under gunfire. Professional bodyguards. Meaning it's a normal Well premeditated and it's someone who's experienced in it. That's what I'm guessing. I don't think any random person can get off with assassinating someone on their first try. Okay. You follow the facts, you find connections. However, if I do not connect my facts correctly, I will personally give up on my own case. <laughs> That's actually kind of what happens, and it makes absolutely no sense. I never game over it in this game. I game over it in the first investigation game. Okay, let's just start by examining things. Um, okay. Press the Y button. I don't think I need to. Um, examine. Let's see what we got here. This is... It's the Steel Samurai! 
<laughs> the theme is back. I love it. Warrior of Neoldi Tokyo. Popular with both children and adults. Yeah, that really doesn't make much sense. <laughs> That's very sad if it was to <laughs> represent America. Or I guess Japan. Um, so let's examine the balloon right now. Poor Steel Samurai Balloon. Looks the exact same, just popped. Okay, so... Not dead, it, it would have gotten shot by the bullet. How would the blo balloon popped at the exact same time as the bullet? Come on, Edgeworth, I thought you were supposed to be smart. This is a serious crime. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Edgeworth, for obvious... Obvious Edgeworth is obvious. Um... Ooh... I see something on this flag. It's the flag of the Republic. So it's a Republic? Oh yeah, I guess that's why they have a president. Never mind. <laughs> there is an unusual spot. Do you notice it? Do you see the difference? Yay! You're right! It's like a little kid's TV show. Uh, yes, there is one super obvious part, because Gumshoe does not know how to look at obvious things. What a helpless man! <laughs> wow, Edgeworth. Come on. Gumshoe's loyal. You can't say that about most other people in the series. Okay, so we're gonna... Go right there. Oh, present. Take that! I love- I love Edgeworth's objection and take that. I, it, it might just be me, but I think it's one of the best in the series. Uh, the burn marks around the hole. Okay. A bullet hole. Okay. It had to have been from a bullet. That's a, that's a pretty dang big bullet. I mean, just from this angle, it looks like I would be like a deer slug or something. Yeah, so we can easily connect two pieces of logic here. So we have, uh, flag with the bullet hole, and ruptured balloon. They are both shot with a bullet, and they're both in the same general vicinity, so I'm going to say they were shot by the same bullet. That is possible. Or it could also be two still. We're shot by the same bullet. Yeah. Um, which is what we need. We need to know the number of gunshots. So I guess we can investigate, or we should interrogate someone. Oh my gosh, lady, go away! I don't think she's an onlooker. I'm pretty sure she's a reporter. Otherwise, she wouldn't care so much. Okay, let's go talk to her. Okay, jeez. I fly Ciaras. Ikeo. Is that a bear trap she has on her back? Jeez. Her name's Nicole Swift. Okay. <laughs> Exclusive scoop. There you go. And the fact that she has a microphone. I'm not... I'm the one asking the questions here. I could arrest you. Do it, <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> Come on, Edra. Take over the show. No. No. This is not how this works. What'd you see? Well... Um, yeah, you actually can't do that. You're required to give us a testimony. I don't know how the law works, but I'm pretty sure that's something. 
You can't go anywhere else if you want to scoop. Stalemate. Edgeworth? Chess! Stalemate in chess usually means it's a tie. So... This is a really... This is another really, really cool aspect that I love that they added to this game. There's always an opening. We are going to play chess with our words. And I know that sounds really weird. No, this is not Wizard's Chess from Harry Potter or whatever. No. We are going to get the information whether she expects us to or not. Welcome to Logic Chess. This thing, Logic Chess is so awesome. So the way Logic Check on Chess ends up working, Edgeworth will explain some of it. So she has her defensive strategy. And as you can tell, we have time on the bottom. That's the t our time limit. It's actually a lot more time than you would think, but it sometimes goes faster in different situations. Um, but what we do is that we're basically going to just basically talk with her. We get several different options, and we're going to... We're going to have to choose which direction we're going to have to go based on her reaction, or what we need, or what she said. And we're basically going... We're basically going to outsmart her. That's going to be easy. And... Logic Chess, begin! So, your occupation. What's your occupation? So as you can see, she has a pawn and I guess a bishop. I'm gonna guess that's a bishop, or maybe it's meant to be a king. Or queen, whatever. Um, but basically that represents how many times you have to break, or you have to outsmart her. So now you can say, you look suspicious to me, or wait and see. So when she's angry, it's better to just wait around and see how they react, because then they'll accidentally slip up, most likely. Um, that's what you're usually hoping for. But there are some different aspects to it that we'll get into, you'll see much later in the game, but this is a really, really cool thing that I love they did. <laughs> a reputable one. First made her article. There you go, you slipped up. An article writing job. Or some kind of newspaper... whatever. There you go! Dang, nabbit! Investigating reporter. You didn't keep that very secretive. I don't know why we had to logic chest that out of her, but... Okay. Okay, next line of questioning. Let's see what we got here. So we gotta figure out what she saw. So, um... Did you witness the incident, or did you just come here? No. <sighs> Come on. You're way too aggravated, Nicole Swift. Give me, give me my stuff. You give me my stuff, I'll give you yours. You're not a pro. Gunshots, there you go. You heard gunshots, you were at the scene. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is so much fun, just outsmarting witnesses. Like, it's way, way more fun than doing, like, normal, um... What's the word? Um cross-examinations. They have that in this game, too, for those that haven't played the first investigations, but... Um... This is just so cool, because you're literally outsmarting them in every way. And just the tiniest of details is all you need to help them. So she was here to write an article. Got it. That will be a useful clue. Okay, so content of your coverage. Now that we knew you were here... You want to know that bad? No, I am not giving you information ever. 
Yeah, you were here. You knew it. I'm gonna use my knight on you. You should still have the materials. And you would have written down something. Exactly. <sighs> Just come on, calm down, give me the info I want. Being a reporter is a tough job. <sighs> How has your performance been? It's your tape recorder. Always, you say? Let me listen to that. You gave me all the info I needed. Now you basically gotta give me something. Exactly. You recorded it on your tape recorder. Whether you intended to or not. I win! <laughs> it's not exclusive! I'm not gonna publish your stupid report, Nicole! I just need information for the case. The fact that a news reporter knows more than the actual police is kind of sad. There's got to be some kind of law around that. 